Water is one of the most powerful resources and it's essential to life. But too much moisture in your RV can cause damage and even lead to health problems if mold and mildew form. Some of the ways that moisture gets into your RV is by cooking, showering, doing laundry, and when it's cold outside and it's warm inside, water can condense, and even by breathing. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to share some tips to help you keep the moisture levels down in your RV. We use a couple portable weather stations that have humidity sensors on them to detect the amount of humidity that's in the air in our RV. We have one located in our main living area and one in our bedroom bath area. Yeah, because it can be hard to detect how much humidity is in the air if you don't have a, a device to measure that with. And it's very important to try to keep those levels under 50% as often as you can. Yeah, and I'll often target 40% yeah. sometimes just to kind of keep it down as low as possible. But 50% is generally uh, acceptable. This can be more challenging in a, a rainier, uh, wet climate than in a, in a dry one, of course. Yes. Ventilation is a great way to reduce moisture in an RV. Yeah, like when you're cooking, you can turn on the stove top exhaust fan. If you don't have one of those, open a window nearby, open a door nearby, uh, the exhaust fan and the ceiling. Use whatever you have to, to let that uh, steam and moisture out when cooking. Another thing is when you're taking a shower, uh, open a nearby window or use the exhaust fan to let out that moist air. Yeah, and be sure and leave the um, fan on for a few minutes after you're done showering to get that last bit of moisture out. Definitely. And if you're doing laundry or if you have to hang something wet to dry, try to dry it outside if you can. If you can't, be sure that you have, like you said, a window open or the fan on. And when you're sleeping, crack a window, even if it's cold outside. If you crack a window just a little bit, it'll greatly improve the circulation and help keep that uh, humidity level down. Yeah, definitely. And when you're sleeping, you're obviously just letting a lot of moisture out for as much as eight hours <laughs> at, at times. You can just be breathing out a lot of moist air. So it's a good idea to think about all that time when that moisture is going into the RV that you can ventilate and let that out. Uh, another thing that you should do on your roof, if you haven't already done so, for your exhaust fans is to use some hoods over them so that they can be open when it's raining. So you can definitely get good in, uh, ventilation when all that humidity is rising like that. Yeah, we tend to kind of seal ourselves up in our RVs and try to make them airtight, but uh, getting that circulation going through the use of the, the fans and the windows is very important. Definitely. Showering definitely puts a lot of moisture in the air, so when we're done taking a shower, we use a squeegee to put all the excess water down the drain, and we might follow up with a towel or a chamois. Yeah, and this kind of seems like maybe a lot of work, but it really only takes a couple minutes, and it'll go a long way to help prevent damage in your RV. Yeah, and I consider it a form of exercise. That's one of the ways that I continue to do it. Otherwise, I'd probably I'd just get bored of it. But. Yeah, a little bending and stretching. <laughs> Cooking also puts a lot of moisture in the air, so using things like slow cookers or multi-cookers will reduce the amount of steam. Also using a lid whenever possible will help. Yeah, and don't forget to use the exhaust fans, Susan. Because we visit areas with high humidity, we've invested in a dehumidifier. We have a rather large one. It has a reservoir that we can have it automatically shut off when it's full or we can attach a hose to the back of it and run it continuously and have it drain into the shower. It's relatively quiet and it has a timer and it also has a humidity sensor that we can set it to whatever humidity level we want in the RV and it'll run until it gets to that level and then shut off by itself. Yeah, it works very well and we've been very happy with it. I'll be sure to put a link to this and other products that we've discussed in this video in the video description. These are just a few of the methods that we use to help control moisture in our RV. We hope this information has been useful to you. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching! Water's one of the most powerful resources, and it's essential to living. <laughs> These are just a few of the...